Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, I am taking you into Greer, into town, uh, to show you some stuff and things. I go check out a new campsite that my girlfriend Sarah suggested to me and I almost get stuck in the mud. There's rain in this video. There are lakes. I show you what I do in my van when there's inclement weather. I hear some wild animal noises and all those other things that happens uh, in a majestic mountain town such as Greer. So like this video and subscribe. Let's get into it. All right. Did you see the dog? I am at the Greer Community Center. It's Monday today and it's actually closed. But I was right next door at the post office to send out paw to graphs. They have a public dumpster here, so I did dump my trash. And um, I was interested in going into the library, but I noticed that, uh, like I said, it's closed today. But I, I like going to little places like this, and they have like a book drop and uh, fun stuff here it looks like an event center so I actually found an outlet right outside of these restrooms here so I'm charging up my <laughs> Vtoman it only takes 20 minutes to charge so um, I've actually never done that before um, but yeah it's a it's an outlet just right out in the open so going to get it charged up so I don't run out of power with it tomorrow before I get to the campground and then Winston and I will go somewhere um, so I can make lunch. Okay so I'm checking out a day use area. It's very well it's beautiful like everything is here but they have some little like lakes. There's a lake and a reservoir. Um, Greer Lakes Pioneer Irrigation Reservoir. So I'm just gonna see if there's like a place I can park and you know open my my oh sorry open my windows and my trunk and make some bacon and eggs <laughs> rather than spending I mean I would love to go to another restaurant in town but I have food so I shouldn't spend the money. Um oh there's a boat launch over here on some picnic tables and stuff so yeah I'm just gonna park and cook while my video uploads I have really good cell service right here so that's good and then I can take Winston on a little walk looks like they have restroom facilities as well it is very quiet around here today since it's Monday <laughs> And I am happy about it. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here, I think. Just back in. Back in so I have some nice views here. So I'm, I'm hearing, I don't know if it's elk, that's going to be my best guess, but they're loud. Been hearing it, haven't been, I haven't seen it, but storms are starting to come in. It's been thundering, so I'm going to take Winston on that. Yeah, go ahead, Bubba. I'm going to take him on a quick walk just over by the reservoir here so he can go potty and then we'll move on. Yeah. What the heck is that? I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. Just like everywhere in Greer, it's so pretty down here. It's really nice that they have multiple day use areas. 
And like I said, it's Monday, so it's very quiet. Oh, there's a bear country sign. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, never saw those animals. I don't know, I don't know what was happening over there, but um, this was a great place to stop, to make food, to go on a little walk. I had excellent cell service here, so I was able to finish uploading my video pretty quickly, and it's just a mile and a half outside of, like, the actual main street town of Greer. It is 12.17, and there's a little shop I want to go check out and then I think I'm gonna go see if that new campsite is gonna work for me because if not I'll go to a different one and then if not I'll go back to where I was so I still have plenty of time to do all of that and I'm gonna to get to it All right, let's see what they got in here. I'm sure everything's overpriced, but I guess we'll find out. This is pretty. Lots of camping right up front here. It is very much raining. I've been doing recon for about 40 minutes, so I went to the pin that Sarah gave me. It's about five miles in, and I'm so glad that I did, because on the way, I saw that there was an abundance of camping spots. Like, everything's open. It's very quiet around here. Um, so I went to the spot that Sarah, was, that Sarah gave me. There was somebody there. I went a mile further, but there was, like, no camping within that mile, so I came back. I checked out one spot. The service was very, like, I had, like, a quarter of a bar of Verizon. And then I just found this spot that I'm totally digging, but I don't even have enough service to send a text or make a phone call. So that's gonna be a no-go. So um, I figured I'd stop to record real quick because it is raining. Oh, I just spilled water on myself. And then I'm gonna make my way back because I have to have a spot where I can at least make a phone call. Hi, you wanna come back? Come on back. Y'all, I just got my ass almost stuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I really liked that area that I was just at. Um, it started to pour very quickly and the campsite roads started to get very muddy very fast. I was like slipping and sliding, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I had a moment of panic where I was like, bitch, you are going to get your ass stuck. So I actually left the area because I was like, I'm only 10 minutes from the town of Greer. So now I'm back at the reservoir area that we were at earlier. There's nobody here. It is storming. Well, it actually just let up a little bit, but it is dark. It's been pouring for the last 30 minutes and there is some pretty crazy thunder. 
but it's two o'clock. I took Winston, you know, out recently, so he's good for a while. Um, and since I have really good service right here, I can kind of catch up on things. I might get on my laptop and like go through some emails and do that sort of thing. And probably just go back to the spot that I've been at the last few nights or yeah, that I've been at because it's close and I and I know I at least have minimal service, but there's no point in going up there right now because we can't be outside anyways. It's just so rainy and wet. Um, what's nice is that with my van set up, I don't even have to get out of my van to get back here. I just climb over the center console and here I am. So, can you coming back or what? Come on, you coming back to hang out? So I have the trunk open and the windows cracked. It is 62 out and time to relax, but also get stuff done. I bought a candy necklace today. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. So that little store was super cute. But there are like a ton of people inside. I feel weird filming when there's like a bunch of people around, especially in like a small space like that. Got a candy necklace. Got some overpriced beer. And I also got some super cute stickers. Oh, and I got, I needed an envelope, just one envelope. So I purchased a card so I could get the envelope. And I'm going to use it as art. It says people in sleeping bags are like soft tacos. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. So anyways. We are back at the campsite. As you can see, it's gotten, whoo, I just got a raindrop in my eye. It's gotten fairly muddy, but um, I'm fine if I go that way. And then I parked like in the, uh, not in the mud. Okay, so <laughs> um, I, before we left, well, about an, 45 minutes ago, I plugged in my Hot Logic and I put a calzone in there. So, while we made our way back to this campsite, I had that cooking and it's almost set. Winston doesn't want to go potty. He's not ready yet. He also knows there's food in there. I just wanted to get back here with plenty of daylight just in case this spot happened to be taken. I didn't think it would be because it's Monday and it's obviously uh, not prime camping weather <laughs> for most people. But just in case I had to find something else, I wanted to get back here. So... Now I think I'll work on a video after we eat. Well, as usual this morning, it is an abundantly glorious day here in Greer, Arizona. We have some sunshine, but just like yesterday, we we're expecting storms to roll in by noon. I just made my coffee. It's nine o'clock. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing we did yesterday go into town and relax because tomorrow we are heading to New Mexico. Uh, Y'all, I feel like I've been on the road for like 18 years right now, but it's been six days.
like it hasn't even been a week. Um, I think it's because I feel so far away from home. Home being like the Phoenix Valley. Um, Greer, it's like, it feels like a fantasy land. Like it feels like I'm in a different country. It's just wild. And I think that's why I feel like I've been on the road for so long. I've only been, let's see, Brock and I arrived in Greer on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. Like, I feel like I've been on the road for ages. Um, it's funny because when we were at the Thompson Trail the other day, um, that was the most magnificent outdoor place I've ever been. And especially with the rain and everything, it just added... Um, an element of just like absolute serenity and, and it's funny because I told Brock and I told my mom too it's like I I've been playing the video game World of Warcraft since I was 16 and I'm almost 36 so do the math obviously I play very casually now and I only play when I'm at my house I don't play on the road so but I, I was like, I feel like I'm in a video game here. It's just, it's so, it, it was just an otherworldly experience. Um, so yeah, it's kind of wild. I think that's why it feels like I've been traveling for ages at this point. But um, tomorrow, like I said, we are going to a campground. It is a viewer, uh, one of you suggested it to me. So I will be doing a video about that. I appreciate everybody who's given me suggestions for this trip. Um, <clears throat> it's a three hour drive there. So I'm just going to do the three hours tomorrow. We can't check in until four o'clock anyways. So we're just going to take our time. And um, this morning I'm, I decided since we have sun, I'm going to get out my shower tent and my shower and heat up some water and take a shower to get the day started. Uh, before the rain hits. Like I said, while we have sun, I'm going to take advantage. Cute boy. All right, y'all. Got my shower tent set up. I'm not using my outdoor rug. There's no point in putting it out. So I have a Dollar Tree tarp in there. I'm doing a full shower, hair wash, the whole thing today. Um, boiling my water. I'm going to feel so much better. Get a shower in before the rain hits. And then I'll put everything away. <laughs> Y'all, I am so glad I took that shower. Um, so back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> when, so I've been doing van life for four years now. In case you missed it, my four-year van anniversary was last Wednesday on the 19th. Um, so when I first started van life, I didn't want to put up a shower tent and all that type of stuff. I just wasn't, like, comfortable because I was still learning about van life. Anyways, um, now I'll take out my shower tent. I'll bust it out, take out everything, and just, you know, do whatever, um, and it was great. It was so great. And Winston, he just, uh, I just zip him up in his playpen and he stays put. Granted, I don't take long showers, right? It's kind of hard to when you have uh, limited water supply and, and all that good stuff. But I'm glad I got my shower in. When I get to the campground tomorrow, they do have shower facilities. So I'm going to take a shower tomorrow and I'm going to take one Thursday before I check out because... Um, yeah, why not take advantage? And it's perfect because I'm my water supply is now dwindling. And of course they have water at the campground, so I'll be able to, to fill up my dishwater and my shower water. I just have to find somewhere to get um, my drinking water. Now in Greer, there really aren't amenities. Um, and actually, I don't even know where people who live in Greer, like, go to get groceries. Maybe um, Springerville nearby. I don't know. But in any event, it is 1130. 
we are heading into town now. Uh, dump trash like yesterday. Stop at the post office. I have one more paw to graph to mail out. I might check out a diner in town. Um, I don't know. We'll see. See where the day takes us. Okay, y'all. So I am pulling into Benny Creek Campground. Um, here in Greer, I found it on iOverlander. I mean, there are signs as well, but it's like $6 a night. It's primitive. It's a primitive campground, so there's no electric hookups. And it's self-pay. I just thought I'd come in here and like see what the deal is. So we're gonna check it out. So $14 per night, which is kind of funny. That's what I'm paying at the state park tomorrow. <laughs> um, deposit here. There's a dump fee. Showers, $12. And I think the showers are across the street. Yeah, showers are not included. Um... I don't know. I'm just gonna do a round and see if I like it. It's pretty empty, which is nice. I decided to pass on the campground. I didn't think it was worth it for the $14 when I can go back to the campsite I was just at. Um, and there is nobody at this part of the Greer Lakes. So we're going to spend some time here. Check it out. I have Winston off leash right now just because there's nobody here. <laughs> and we're going to get in the van and rest. I do want to walk down to the water, but I'm just letting him do his stuff first. This area is so beautiful. I see some herons right on the water here. I love doing all this stuff on weekdays. Huh, kid? Tuesday. No one here. But check out these views. All sorts of <laughs> noises. I knew it. I knew you would eat peanuts. I saw this little guy and he's so freaking cute. And I was like, hey, I have peanuts. Do you need a snack? And he was like, yes. And I was like, cool. Well, where are you going? <laughs> Hi. Okay, 
Wait, well, you can't go in my bag. Hold on. Oh, my God. Hi. Hi. Hey, friend. Oh, you're, you're so cute. Hey, 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 friend. Well, no, you can't take my whole bag of trail mix. Well, no, come here. I didn't mean to be mean. Come here. Come here. Come on. Here, there's one right here. There you go. Well, my little chipmunk friend is fed. Oh, somebody else just pulled up. Um, and I will wrap up this video. Like I said earlier, tomorrow we head to New Mexico. So stay tuned for state park adventures. I'll see you guys next time.